Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here and in this video, we will show you what's new on the MIUI 14. So Xiaomi has launched the MIUI 14 in India along with the launch of the Xiaomi 13 Pro. We all already know that uh, Poco X5 Pro came with MIUI 14. Now we have the uh, MIUI update uh, for the Xiaomi 12 Pro as well. So this is the Xiaomi 12 Pro with uh, the MIUI 14 update and uh, Android uh, 13. So if you go here about phone, you can see here MIUI 14.0.1 and this is uh, the stable build. And Android security patch is from Jan and uh, here we can see Android version is 13 so that's the uh, MIUI 14 for uh, Xiaomi 12 Pro let's see what all new features it brings to the table so first of all uh, the new changes uh, some of these changes are under the hood means uh, you get uh, the memory usage has been reduced drastically on the MIUI 14 so Xiaomi has uh, shown a graphical representation of how the uh, the memory usage uh, of uh, MIUI 14 has been reduced now this will definitely help in better memory management and apart from that uh, uh, this device also comes with lighter firmware that means uh, uh, compared to MIUI 13 and MIUI 14 there is a 4 giga Gigabyte, uh, size difference uh, in fact MIUI 13 was uh, around uh, 17 gigabyte uh, in size in internal storage it was using but with MIUI 14 it is now 13 gigabyte so almost 4 gigabyte difference uh, between the two uh, UI so that is a di major difference apart from that there is also a faster boot speed now now the booting has been considerably reduced and uh, the memory usage also uh, is uh, better now memory management and background uh, process uh, is again uh, drastically done well so memory management uh, app switching everything looks very smooth so that's uh, that are some of the changes uh, uh, under the hood apart from that there is also battery improvements so memory usage lighter footprint faster boot up speed and apart from that uh, the better uh, background process management and battery optimization so these are some of the changes under the hood now next let's go to the customizations part so first let's see the settings panel so here you can see the settings panel you can see that this uh, no, looks uh, different this is the new settings panel the icons have changed the grouping looks uh, more or less similar but icons have changed and this is the MIUI 14 global version and you can see here look and feel uh, more or less similar but a uh, slight different the notification toggles more or less remaining the same now what has changed is uh, the wallpaper so if you just swipe here if you go to the wallpapers you get uh, plenty of new wallpapers included so you can see here these are the new wallpapers included with uh, the MIUI 14 apart from that you also get uh, the older wallpaper so there are plenty of wallpapers available by default on this uh, UI so new wallpapers are available uh, with uh, the MIUI 14 now apart from that uh, you also get uh, plenty of widgets so if you click widgets you can see here the new widget screen uh, there are plenty of options available so some of the changes are really nice you can see here cricket widgets then uh, new gallery widget if you select this you can see here different sizes for the gallery widget then clock widget uh, you can see different sizes for clock uh, the traditional clock as well as uh, the bigger clock is there digital clock then security boost speed you can uh, uh, quickly uh, boost the speed uh, from the widget then you get cleaner is there uh, you can see a thrash and memory usage then uh, you get um, uh, uh, larger cleaner widget so there are plenty of options available uh, here then you can see the news widget cleaner uh, app lock uh, security scan optimize all those things are there then we have the popular games widget then multiple uh, apps with multiple widgets so select here you can see here app vault there are multiple app vault uh, widgets you can see a popular games news advanced tools uh, steps taken is there then weather also you get plenty of new options uh, these are some newly uh, introduced widgets again uh, clock security notes also you get uh, notes uh, you can see here notes if you have a lot of notes uh, you can go here gallery also as i said before there there are a few options now if you want the older widgets you can select here android widgets then you can get the older widgets as well so these are the options and now if you go here uh, you can see that uh, these are some really useful option especially the battery here this is the battery option you can quickly toggle uh, the battery uh, the uh, battery saver option from here that's why, uh, something which is really good so these are some additional options included uh, with the widget so widgets looks really nice uh, we just uh, set up some widgets here so you can see here 
just one click and i can enable the battery server mode just one click i can boost the speed i can see here boost the speed so these widgets are very useful uh, uh, if you want to uh, quickly have control of your apps and uh, other option then apart from that there is also an enlarge folder say for example if i just click here edit folder i can see the enlarge folder just click here now i can see the enlarge folder and the advantage of enlarge folder is that you don't have to open the entire folder just click here and we'll go to that um, option that's another useful feature that large folder option now another option is if you select this option you can see here more option and you can see the icon size here so selecting the icon size you also get the background color so you can see here the default color you can go with the, the blue icons uh, you can go with green i will just uh, show you how it looks you can see here this is the green icon so similarly you can select uh, other options uh, for this icon size and icon uh, color there are five options or if you can go with the default color as well so these are some changes in the the customization options uh, uh, in uh, uh, the mi y 40 now we will just go to the privacy option say for example i have an image here uh, you can uh, select this and you can recognize text option so you can see here it will recognize the text from the image or shared and it'll, you can copy that text that's one you really useful option then there is also watermark option protective watermark that means if you have some confidential document you can add a protective watermark you can see here I just added do not copy and it will uh, have this uh, watermark enabled uh, in the do not copy option uh, you can uh, see that uh, this is uh, 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 enabled now you can uh, click this and uh, uh, you can enable the watermark on uh, this uh, uh, document or uh, the image now whenever you are sharing say for example i am sharing this uh, uh, have this privacy protection option here just at the top just click this and you can see here share without location info this is a uh, privacy uh, protection option then share without metadata these are two useful things because you don't have to share the location and the metadata while uh, sharing images that's another useful feature now another useful feature is the remove uh, erase objects uh, option so i uh, just an image if you want to erase something uh, erase people just click here and uh, or rather just go here edit and select the ai option ai option you can see erase option uh, here we have uh, uh, multiple options manually you can erase something remove the lines remove people remove shadows so a lot of options are there if you want to remove a particular person select this and it will scan it and you can select uh, the the person or selected just uh, click erase and you can see that the person is vanished from the image so this is very useful in fact this is very good actually the background erase option is extremely good is extremely capable and you can't see any sort of edit happening here so the ai uh, remove people and remove lines uh, definitely works really well so that's one of the new features in uh, this ui now, apart from that you also get the sidebar so let's just go here and additional settings and uh, go to floating windows here we have the sidebar option so just enable sidebar and you can see that uh, it brings in a sidebar you can customize what all apps you want in the sidebar if you are using uh, some particular app uh, frequently you can add it in the sidebar and you can quickly access it so that's a sidebar apart from that if you go to uh, youtube app so just select the opening the youtube app and uh, here we have additional options if you just swipe here you can see the sidebar you can see the upscale option uh, style picture in uh, picture mode dolby atmos support so these are again uh, dependent upon the device uh, so here we have a uh, uh, multiple options and uh, here you also can uh, uh, select an app for example if i just select app you can see this is the floating window you can just place it around you can just move it uh, to the smaller screen you can see here so you can just uh, keep it here and if you just don't want just uh, swipe up and it will be displayed so this is again the new sidebar option uh, uh, this again apart from this uh, you also get the dual apps functionality additional options like uh, second space uh, right now you can see here second space 100 mode these are uh, uh, options which have been available here previously as well uh, along with memory extension heart rate monitoring for some devices so these are options already available in the miui 13 but miui uh, 14 brings in a whole lot of features especially the customization options and under the hood a performance improvement has been really really impressive we have seen this on the xiaomi 13 pro as well with miui 14 uh, battery management uh, memory management battery optimizations uh, the uh, the actual footprint of uh, uh, the ui uh, reduced by 4 gigabyte then uh, a boot speed has been improved so these are some of the changes under the hood for mi ui 14 so i uh, hope this video was useful this was the mi ui 14 changes uh, uh
this is definitely improved version and uh, you can expect uh, uh, refined uh, MIUI 14 on your devices. So if you are looking for the MIUI 14 rollout, here is the chart depicting the rollout of MIUI 14 on all the Xiaomi devices. So hope this video was useful. Do hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.